who saves thousands of human lives. He is good for the society. You can't paint all fundamentally the same brush. Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fun and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video. Before we get into the reaction, I want to thank everyone out there who has been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing and also want to thank you so much for giving us suggestion uh, videos. You're really amazing and for the people who've been able to comment on our comment section, thank you so much. And also for the people who've been able to go to our Patreon and becoming a member, you guys are also amazing. And if you're new to this channel we are funny and jesse and we do a lot of reaction videos and if you want to go check us, us on our patreon just go in the description below and hit the link over there and support us on our patreon and thank you so much for actually being part of our family and we're here to actually um, if not entertain you guys educate you guys and also to make sure at least we are not selfish enough to <laughs> pass in an information <laughs> to you people. Uh, I believe in sharing. I believe in, um, you know, if you find something that is worth sharing, go ahead and, you know, give it to the people out there. And it's, it's, it's really good to, to give. And also, um, that's how you receive a lot of blessing and stuff like that. So we do this for for uh, for us too, because we're also learning a lot of things. There's a lot of transition that are happening out there, a lot of shifts that are happening out there, and um, nobody knows what's going to happen in future. So um, people are trying to find peace in each and every um, religion, in each and every uh, probably denominations and all those kind of things. And I believe uh, everybody has a choice to actually figure out what they really want in life and figure out which path do I need to follow, which path do I need to choose. And I believe probably the path is just right next to you. The path is with you and the path is actually coming to you in the nearby future. So, so right about now we're going to do another reaction and this one was suggested by a lot of people. They suggested that we should go react to uh, Muslims fundamentalists and this is by Dr. Zakir Naik. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. You know the media today is calling Muslims as fundamentalists. What is the meaning of the fundamentalist? Fundamentalist by definition means a person who follows the fundamentals of one particular subject. For example, if any person wants to be a good scientist, he should know, follow and practice the fundamentals of science. Unless he is a fundamentalist in the field of science, he cannot be a good scientist. If a person wants to be a good mathematician, he should know follow and practice the fundamentals of maths. Unless he is a fundamentalist in the field of maths, he cannot be a good mathematician. We cannot paint all fundamentalists with the same brush, that all are good or all are bad. Depending in which field the person is a fundamentalist, you have to label him accordingly. For example, if we have a fundamentalist robber whose profession is to rob, he is bad for the society. On the other hand, if we have a fundamentalist doctor who saves thousands of human lives, he is good for the society. You can't paint all fundamentally the same brush. You have to find out what are his fundamentals before labeling him whether he's good or bad. As far as I'm concerned, I am a fundamentalist Muslim and I'm proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. Because I know, I follow and I strive to practice the fundamentals of Islam. And I know there is not a single fundamental of Islam which goes against humanity as a whole. There may be a few fundamentals of Islam which the non-Muslims may feel it is against humanity. But the moment you give the logical reason regarding these fundamentals and the statistics of the world, there is not a single human being who is unbiased who can point out a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. Therefore, I am proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. When we read the Webster's Dictionary, we come to know that the word fundamentalism was first used to describe a group of Protestant Christians 
in America in the early part of the 20th century. Previously, the church it believed that only the message of the Bible was from God. These Protestant Christians in America in the early part of the 20th century they protested that not only is the message of the Bible from God but every word every letter of the Bible is from God if any person can prove that the Bible is the word of God this movement is a good movement on the other hand if someone can prove that Bible is not the word of God then this movement is not a good movement when we read the Oxford dictionary we find that according to the Oxford Dictionary, the definition of the word fundamentalist is given. It says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to the ancient doctrine of any religion. But when we refer to the latest edition of Oxford Dictionary, there is a slight change. It says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to any ancient doctrine of any religion, especially Islam. The word especially Islam has been added to the definition. The moment you hear the word fundamentalist, you start thinking of a Muslim. Hmm. He's an extremist, he's a terrorist. Ah, all right. That's a good one, actually. Now I understand uh, why people are sort of saying that Muslims are fundamentalists. It's just because it was written in a, in a it was actually changed and uh, put in into, um, into a text in a, in the dictionary you get it but the earlier version it, it wasn't actually directed into muslims you get it it was just um just uh at its own context and not putting uh muslim as a subject in there which is actually um now i understand why <laughs> most of the people are out there uh probably you know calling out muslims they are found the, um um they are fundamentalists they are what do you call this they're extremists they're all those kind of things but i think this is just labels you get it i mean um you can't start saying that just because i'm religious enough just because i pray five times a day you should call me an extremist or you should call me somebody who's actually um too much into religion matters and stuff like that you get it i mean i think it's, it's it's so irrational for somebody to call you those names without even thinking twice without looking into the word itself you know look um the problem comes in when we when we started looking at the the in uh the language of english and we started like following that language really critically because um according to a lot of people they're saying that um the english language is a caste language you get it it's a language that has a lot of de definitions one word can contain a lot of definitions one word is it's, it's a bingos they call it that way like you can use one word in different things in many things out there you get it? that's why um at times it becomes even confusing at times you can be saying something but you mean something else so it's 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 like a cast type of language you can say anything and uh, somebody can actually pick that pick uh, whatever you've said and uh, um make you uh, feel like whatever you've said is is, is, is is the wrong thing and that's according to his own opinion and stuff like that you get it but what you meant wasn't just exactly what you just said in the in the in the first place but i feel like um if the if 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 the english language wasn't that complicated in terms of too many um uh what do you call this too many um words with different um definition and stuff like that uh, i think things will be much easier things will be much um um what do you call it? like self-explanatory type of thing you get it because man it's just too much the english language is too much and they keep on coming up with new words every day with new words that have just the same they have synonyms of you get so i mean it's just a language of competition if you want to compete if you want to show that you are really advanced you use big languages you get it L like just to be honest i can talk to somebody somebody 
on, 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 on a layman's way of uh, maybe English language, you will understand me. But if somebody goes to a level of using synonyms that are really hard to an extent that this person don't understand, it means that there's no communication in there. That's, I mean, uh, that's why um, today there are words that you don't understand because probably you've never come across it. Probably uh, throughout your life you've never seen this uh, type of word, but it was just introduced maybe just in the late, uh, later years and stuff like that. And now coming to to this video over here. Um, uh, earlier in those days, fundamentalist wasn't actually put in the context of um, like um, putting a subject that Muslims are fundamentalists. You get it? It was just its own definition of just being. But now, using that example as a Muslim, that's where the problem comes in. You get it? So whenever you go into the dictionary, then you say, for example a Muslim or especially a Muslim that's where it changes everything so when you refer to a, fun, a fundamentalist you will always think of a Muslim you wouldn't think of something else which it actually totally um, defeats the purpose of a fundamentalist you get it and um, anyone can be a fundamentalist it's not only a Muslim why are we trying to profiling one religion or trying to profile in one particular person anybody can be a, funda um, a fundamentalist or something like that so anyway i mean su such an informative video too man i mean i'm amazing amazing and thank you so much for the person who actually suggested on this video right there you're really really amazing thank you so much and if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section tell me exactly what you feel about this video or what do you feel about my reaction? Just let me know in the comment section below. Are Muslims fundamentalists? <laughs> Just let me know. Let's keep it going on the comment section below. I hope, I know there's some people who have better uh, thinking probably than me or maybe <laughs> even uh, Dr. Zakir Naik. Just let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? And also don't forget to support us on um, Patreon. The link is going to be in the description below. Just make sure to go and hit that link over there. We put videos that we 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 are not in the ability to post it on YouTube. You know, sometimes YouTube they kind of block it, maybe, or maybe they don't want us to post post it or something like that. And you know, so we those kind of videos we probably put it on on our Patreon. Just make sure to go in there and uh, just um, uh, be a family, uh, be a member and also be part of our family at patient just support us and thank you so much and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you sorry in the next video and peace out